This is for the Maroons and the Blue Mountains of Jamaica. This is for all my Native American moors of Turtle Island just minding their business in Canada until all this colonization bullshit. Ronnie! My bad, auntie. Chill, this is phenomenal. What up, what up, y'all? It's your man Sam, and here at Viral Hip Hop News, do me a favor, hit that like button, smash that notification bell, and subscribe to the brand Viral Hip Hop News. Appreciate each and every one of y'all. Let's get to work. All right, comedic legend Eddie Griffin, man. Y'all don't know how many times we tried to interview this brother right here. And to his credit, when he ain't doing interviews, he ain't doing interviews. But this is probably one of the greatest, most underrated, most prolific comics we've ever seen. And he gives some of the dopest, drops some of the greatest gems off the microphone, off the comedic stage, when he's just walking around and doing his normal thing, this brother be dropping gems and be doing his thing. But let's make no mistake, he's one of the greatest comics of all time, in my opinion, one of the most underrated comics. His name is not brought up enough when you talk about some of the greatest of all time. Eddie Griffin is one of them brothers, right? So I'm talking about him now, throwing him his flowers right now. He went in on Diddy, man. I mean, he had a good damn time on Diddy's expense live on stage. I'm going to play that clip of him roasting the doo-doo out of Diddy. But before I do, I want to pay homage to the brother because he was also recognized in his city of Kansas City, Missouri. If I'm not mistaken, they named a street or a county or a town or something after that brother. They paying homage to the legend and giving him his flowers as well. I'm going to play the clip of... Eddie Griffin receiving his honor from Kansas City, Missouri. And then I'll come back with my one-two talking about Diddy and play that clip as well. But let's first see him get his love. Let's go. I'm to present you with a proclamation of the mayor of Kansas City, That brother got a whole goddamn day named after him out in Kansas City, Missouri. Salute to him. Nobody's more deserving than the legend Eddie Griffin. So like I said, man, he was on stage and he set Diddy's ass on fire. Pause. He went in on Diddy. Now we know when it comes to comedy, when it comes to comics, nothing is off limits. Nothing is out of bounds. You talk about everything that's going on in the world and you make light of it and you make fun of it, right? So that's exactly what Eddie Griffin's doing. But also... On a side note, Eddie Griffin is very, very close and cool with Al B. Shore. And we know Al B. Shore was once in a very heavy married relationship. I don't know if they were married, but they were in a very deep relationship with Kim Porter. They share a child together. And no matter what Al B. Shore says, and, and, and to be perfectly honest with you, I hope Al B. Shore is doing well. I hope he's recovering well. I know that brother was dealing with some serious health issues. And first and foremost, hopefully he recovers and hopefully he's okay, right? But throughout the unfortunate passing of Kim Porter's death, and during that time after, he's made some subtle innuendos as if Diddy may have had something to do with it. Now, he's been on and he's fell back. He's got on and he's fell back. Whatever the case may be, y'all let me know if you feel like Eddie Griffin's roasting, I should say, of Diddy has anything to do. If there's some real personal stuff in there, some things personal, or if it's just straight up comedy, straight up doing what Eddie Griffin does. And that's go in on dudes. In only ways Eddie Griffin can do. I'm going to play the clip, enjoy it, laugh at it, enjoy Eddie Griffin's genius, and at the same time, let me know, do you think this was just comedy on stage? you think it had a little something personal to it? A little personal seasoning on it? Y'all let me know in the comment section below. Definitely appreciate each and every one of y'all. Like the video, comment on the video, subscribe to the brand Viral Hip Hop News. Appreciate each and every one of y'all. And without further ado, let's hear what the GOAT Eddie Griffin has to say. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Bad 
boy for life. Take that, take that. That nigga on his way to jail shoot night there waiting on him. <laughs> you get tired of your silly dancing in your videos. All up on sale block seat dancing and shit. Come on over to death row, baby. <laughs> <laughs> did he? He did it. <laughs> nigga, everybody coming out. Nigga, that motherfucker 50 Cent is the most pettiest nigga on earth. <laughs> Ain't this nigga petty, nigga? He be fucking with this nigga every day. Like, five, four, three, two, one. Here come a new charge. He done paid 